12 volts uh, under spec really when you run the engine it drops down to 11.95 I've unbolted the trumpet to the air intake there's a little lip here so you have to kind of pry that off a little bit and it comes away gives you a little bit of better access you can see the oil filter down there so I've unclipped the hose to the EGR the alternator I've done a negative voltage drop test within spec that's okay the B post is a bit harder to access so it wasn't really but the belt has seen better days it's actually discolored if we look down here further on the water pump you see how it's, it's browned it up the belt is brown the idler is kind of brown um, you're going to need a wrench because if you try and put a, so a 12 mil wrench if you try and put a socket on there you're not going to have enough clearance to, to lever it out the way so I have to go back indoors and get my spanners out probably have to do like a, a double double wrench trick to do that I've gone ahead and I thought maybe the belt might be stretched but it feels tight enough there's an adjuster here this one where is it where's my finger there so I've doused it with a bit of penetrating oil um, and the bolt at the lower bracket so there's a good chance I'm probably basically just going to replace the alternator altogether and while I'm at it replace the belt as well but next step will be for me to get hold of a 12 mil spanner dun 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 right this is proven to be a little bit of a pain but I'm making progress so we've got the air intake taken off we've got the shroud at the front the cowl taken off we've got the fan taken off uh, we've removed the mounting bolt from the top the one at the bottom yes this was great having the extra space that was so tight I thought I was gonna break the head off but it's loose now and the adjuster the adjuster is just floating free so now the alternator you might notice that the belt is slack so I managed to shove the alternator in and the belt there's no tension on the belt anymore so that should come off next is to find, remove the lower bolt completely and disconnect and that should be it <laughs> we got it out so I undid a bolt here um, to loosen up the harness the harness is actually quite tight and I don't know undo the bolt, gave it a bit of a clean the, water, the wheel, the pulley on the water pump get that, tried to give it a bit of a clean but not really much came off uh, just cleaning up around in here a little bit before I put in the new one Okay, I've had to put the old belt back on for the time being. Um, some people suggest you have to like remove the tray from the wheel arch, but I've managed to just slide my hand in, feel around, shine a torch down there, and get it on. Um, you might find it easy uh, to remove the top bolt holding the alternator completely because the slot in this adjusting bracket is only so far take the bolt out and you can actually tuck the alternator right up against the engine block and then put the bolt back in um, loose as you're tightening up where the ratchet is connected on that adjusting bolt and you can see where it used to be because the rest of the bolt is tarnished but you can see that I still the belt is still a little bit loose and I've still got some distance to go so a little bit more tightening please and away we go and as the belt gets old and stretches this belt measures while I, while I had it off I measured it apparently 1138 millimeters is the size required and this belt is 1180 so it's stretched out by near enough 40 millimeters or four centimeters 
So as the bell gets older, you can just tighten up on the adjusting on, on that bolt with the ratchet on there and that'll keep the tension uh, but bear in mind if your belt is stretching it needs replacing I mean this belt is cracked lots and lots of places cracked in lots of places sorry and yeah Wrench, please. Twelve mil. Uh, uh, by the window. Give it to dinosaur. Get Dino Dragon to get it out. <laughs> 